Next thing we're going to talk about is how to add and subtract rational expressions. Uh, again, we're going to use a little background knowledge, so 1 6 plus 1 tenth. It probably wouldn't take many of you guys uh, a long time to figure out, hey, our common denominator is going to be 30. Um, so, yeah, but we're going to try to figure out why that is. Because when we get into these polynomial expressions that we're trying to add and subtract, uh, the denominators are a little bit more difficult. So, uh, 6, the factor form of 6 is really 2 times 3. And of 10, it's 2 times 5. So that's the prime factored form for, for both of those. And then now we're going to try to uh, figure out what our common denominator is. And to do this, we just play a simple little game. It's called Old or New. Okay, so to determine my common denominator when I play Old or New, I look at each of the factors and I say 2. 2. Is 2 Old or New? Well, it's the first thing I've gotten to. So anytime we have a factor in our denominator that's new, and unique that we need it in our common denominator. So we're going to put a little 2 here. So we've moved on from 2. Now we go to 3. 3 is also new, so I need it here. Uh, 2. 2 is old. I already have it once, so I'm not going to use it again. And then 5 is new. We don't have a 5 already, so therefore that's going to be our common denominator. Now as you can see, 2 times 5 is 10 times uh, 3 will give us 30. And then what we do from here is we go back and we manipulate our problems so that we get our common denominator. Well, right now this denominator is 2 times 3. We want it to be 2 times 3 times 5. So what we'll do is we'll multiply this by 5. But since we don't want to change the value of the fraction, we multiply the numerator by 5 also. So we get a little 5 here. And then uh, moving on to the next one, we have 2 times 5. And we want 2 times 3 times 5. So I need to multiply this by 3 and this by 3. When I do that, it'll make that numerator to be 3. One thing you do need to remember is that the sign right here is very important to us. We need to include it. So whatever this is, if it's positive, it's no big deal. It's just going to be the same. But if this is negative, we have to make sure that we change whatever we get in the numerator up there. So now we can add these together. So uh, 5 plus 3 will give us 8. And then, of course, uh, even when we're adding and subtracting fractions, uh, we've done all the steps. We still need to try to simplify our answer. So we'll divide this by 2 to get 4. Divide this by 2 to get 15. So our answer is going to be 4 fifteenths. Let's look at a real example. Here we go. Uh, 1 over x squared uh, plus 1 over x cubed. All right, this one's a little bit more complicated. Uh, and let me tell you why. If you're talking about finding a common denominator, uh, to look at an example, if you look at something like this, uh, 1 fourth plus 1 eighth. Uh, this is really going to be 1 over 2 times 2 and plus 1 over 2 times 2 times 2. Well, 1 fourth plus 1 eighth, what's the common denominator? Well, the common denominator is actually 1 eighth. I don't know why I put 1 on top, but 8 is our common denominator. So if you have a, a repeated term in the same denominator, so here you have two twos multiplied together, and here you have three twos multiplied together in the same one. It has to occur the most number of times in your common denominator. So here you have x squared. Here you have x cubed. Our common denominator is going to be x cubed. Okay, very similar to this concept down here. One fourth plus one eighth. The common denominator is going to be eight because two times two, and two times two times two. The three twos that are multiplied together are going to give us our common denominator. So all we'd have to do on this one is come in here and multiply this by x and this by x. So we would get x plus 1 as our numerator. Okay. We don't have to manipulate this fraction any because it already has our common denominator. So again, if a term is, if the same term is repeated multiple times, you want it to occur the most number of times in your common denominator.